Hello everybody and welcome to Technology Lair. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to install and use the ADB service. So ADB is an abbreviation for Android Debugging Bridge. Android Debugging Bridge is a very versatile command line tool that lets you communicate with an emulator instance or the connected Android powered devices. So you can so you can access the shell of your Android phone using an ADB service. So ADB comes under the Android SDK so to run the ADB service you need to have the Android SDK and you need to do some settings on your Android phone so first I'll show you how to install SDK to install SDK you don't have to do anything just you need to download the SDK zip file and you need to extract it so this is the link from where you can download the Android SDK and this is the download button just click on this download the zip file and before running the Android SDK you need to have the Java development kit that is the JDK installed so this is the link to download the JDK I'll place both this links in the description of the video I've already downloaded it so first what you need to do is you need to install the JDK JDK installation is very simple just double click on the installer and follow the on-screen instructions and secondly I'll download the zip file of the Android SDK just right click on it and click on extract here so once you've extracted you'll find an ADT bundle folder so if you open it you'll find SDK just open this folder and inside platform tools you'll find the ADB executable so what you need to do is you need to open the command prompt in this location so I'll copy this location and you need to run the ADB service so what I'll do is I'll minimize this I'll open the command prompt and you can direct you can go to the path of the ADT and you can go to the platform tools but I'll show you a procedure where you don't need to change this again and again don't need to enter the path I'll give it as ADB console I'll name it and just click on properties and properties you have start and so just remove all this and add the path of the Android SDK the path which I've shown you earlier so this is the path for the platform tool just copy this path and add inside this click on apply and click on ok and once again you can open it here you can see let me increase the font of this so it's visible now the platform tools now the next step what you need to do is you need to do some settings on your Android phone so let's check it out what settings you need to do you need to enable the USB debugging mode so let's enable the USB debugging mode on your Android phone. So to enable USB debugging on your Android phone, just go to the settings and inside settings you will find the developer options and inside developer options make sure that your developer options is checked and your de USB debugging is checked. So both these options are already enabled on my device if you don't if you are it's not enabled on your device make sure that these two are enabled so let's go to the next step so once you're done the settings on your Android phone make sure that your Android phone is connected to your PC using a USB cable so once everything is set up you have the SDK running properly you have the uh, settings done on your mobile phone just type the command ADB devices so this will show you the device is connected so this is your device ID you can also access the shell of your Android phone using the command ADB space shell so this will access your shell you can list the files you can do very interesting stuff here if you have the root access you can do very much interesting stuff you can uh, do develop you can do development with your Android phone using the ADB 
so it's a very powerful utility the android debugging bridge so this video explains the setup of the adb service i hope this has been informative for you and i'd like to thank you for viewing and if you really like the video please like hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the latest tips tutorials on android linux oracle and windows once again thanks for watching